What is going on everyone? I'm Big D and welcome to the Faded channel. First off, I want to thank each and every one of you that came over from Outdoor Chef Life and hit that subscribe button to support me. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I truly, truly do appreciate it. And for all you folks that have stuck with me from the beginning, watching some of my bad videos and some of the good videos, hey, listen, love you guys. Thank you very much for all your support. So it's been a tough week of fishing out there. We were down in Arizona and uh, it was actually really, really cold. So we did head out to uh, Lake Alamo, chasing after some crappie, and uh, yeah, check it out here. What's up folks, Big D here, and I am at Lake Alamo State Park, Arizona. And yes, I am dressed like I am going ice fishing because it is cold here and we're gonna fish all night. So yeah, check this out. Um, Alamo Lake got the boat down there and uh, we got six dozen minnows and we are going after crappy and we're gonna fish all night wish us luck see what happens so it got a little too windy and a little too cold we fished maybe for uh, I would say a couple hours and uh, yeah loaded the boat back on the uh, trailer and uh, headed back to Phoenix. So the next day, Luis and I went out and I decided to do some urban fishing at, at the canals uh, out in Phoenix. Now, I definitely do not recommend you eat any of these fish uh, if you do go out and fish the canals. So check it out. Ah, ah. <laughs> Whoa! Right here? Current looks too strong. Oh. Well, folks, fishing the canal is very interesting. First off, we're in the middle of the damn city. You can tell by the uh, traffic here, right? And uh, it's not as pretty as, you know, Lake Pleasant, Bartlett, Saguaro, some of the other places we go. But Luis tells me there's big fish in here. Ditch pickle, folks. Ditch pickle. Small one. <laughs> Get his daddy, huh? Here we go. Little tiny one. see uh you know we didn't catch anything too big right they were uh, uh they were all small um so yesterday was my birthday gonna have a big birthday bash tomorrow got uh, a bunch of folks coming over to uh help me make some food and uh, help me prep uh, for the big party tomorrow so gonna feed them gonna feed them tonight and i also want to celebrate uh the channel getting up to a thousand uh, subscribers as uh, as well and uh, we're gonna celebrate by making steak and thick the hook. That's right, Cambodian folks. It's, uh, you know, what we eat uh, when we celebrate, right? So let's get started. All right, so the first step is to get our ingredients into the oven here. Let's go over uh, the ingredients. So here I've got probably 14 cloves of garlic. I've got about 14 Thai bird chilies here. Now you guys don't have to use uh, this much uh, uh, chili, right? You can cut it down. And then here, yeah, we got the special stuff, right? This is bahok or pickled gourami fish. We use this brand right here and uh, I like to cook it. So what I do is I'll fold this up uh, into a nice little packet and throw it in the oven. Now. Cambodian folks, I know there's a million ways uh, to make this. Uh, some of y'all like the uh, raw, but I don't, so I'm gonna cook it. All right, I got the oven on broil. Got it set on low. Let me open it up here. 
and let's get our ingredients into the oven. So while our hot pepper, garlic, and pahok, right, is uh, being cooked in the oven there, uh, we just did a very, very simple seasoning or marinade, I guess, uh, for the steak. So basically all we did was just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. The reason why we kept it so simple is because, uh, as most of you know, uh, Cambodians that is, the pahok is very, very strong, right? And uh, yeah, we don't want to uh, over seasoned steak. All right, let's get these on. All right, let's get our grill nice and hot here. I think I need a new grill, folks. <laughs> and we wanna go ahead and sear it for, I would say about three minutes on each side here. Yeah, get that going. Let's go over our list of ingredients uh, for the herbs and uh, some of the other stuff. <laughs> so we got our basket of ingredients here. Uh, so this, you're gonna need about a stock, you know, lemongrass, maybe a li little bit more, depending on how strong you like it. Got a couple of uh, limes here, right? Definitely need that. We got some shallots, maybe one big one. Add a little bit more if you want to. Thai eggplants, very important. You need this for tukpahak. So got a couple of those here. Now obviously if you're making a lot, you're gonna need a lot of it, right? And then we got culantro, right? Not cilantro, culantro. Or chipala, right? In uh, uh, Khmer. And we've got cilantro, right? Cilantro and culantro, that goes in here. We've got our Thai basil, we're gonna chop up as well. And we've got green onion here. Uh, or if you're fancy, uh, it's called scallions, right? And we've got a little bit of galanga here. I've got it already chopped up and ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna dice it some more here, so. We're gonna chop all this up, uh, throw it into a bowl while we wait for our steak and our peppers and garlic and bahuk to uh, finish. Uh, roasting up there. See you in a bit. Forgot to mention one other ingredient, very important, okay? You can't omit it, and that is kaffir lime leaves. All right, just grab a handful of them. Uh, make sure you devein them, whether you do it with your fingers or do it with a knife, it doesn't matter. Uh, put them on one big pile and chop everything up. So what I like to do is I like to put the garlic and the hot pepper in a pestle and mortar and pretty much smash it. But if you don't have a pestle and mortar, you can chop it, right? So as you can see here, we've got the uh, mortar here, pestle, right? Uh, garlic and hot pepper in there. And I am gonna pound it to a nice paste. So after we uh, pounded the hot pepper and the garlic and the pesto and mortar into a paste, I went ahead and added the cook badak, pahok. <laughs> badak is pahok and laos, uh, but the pickled garmi fish there, right? And uh, I am now gonna add some hot water to it. And it's not an exact measurement, folks. Uh, so just eyeball it and mix as you go along, adjust to your taste and go from there. Now, once all this is mixed up, you're gonna wanna go ahead and add a little bit of your fish sauce, some sugar, and then we're gonna adjust it with uh, some lime juice before we add our uh, chopped herbs 
uh, into it. Do you not? Are you voiceovering it? <laughs> yes. Looks good. All right, folks, our steak has been sliced up and put on a uh, plate here. So um, us Asians, we like to slice it and, and serve it in a uh, community plate here so you don't have one big steak to yourself. But if you want to do that, hey, you're more than welcome to do that, right? So this is the finished product. And we've got the tukbohuk uh, over here, right? The sauce, a spicy sauce. Like I said, uh, everybody makes it their own way. Uh, I like to make mine a little bit on the spicy side and a lot of the hawk, right? A lot of that pickled uh, garami fish. All right, so let's dig in here. Uh, so let me find a nice medium rare piece. Oh yeah, look at that folks, right? And dip it in our sauce here. Mmm, all right. Mmm, that is excellent. Now you can eat with rice, or you can eat by itself. All right, I'm gonna go with rice. Mm. Dip it in our sauce here. Get some of the herbs. That is excellent, folks. This is the last meal that Jocelyn and Chef Taku had before they left my house. Mm. Now there's some veggies on the side here. So what you can do is you can take your, your lettuce, right? You can take your herbs, you know, a little bit of herbs here. And then you can take your you know, piece of meat. Oh, my ear fell off here. Put it just like that, right? And wrap it up. What you can do is you can dip it in the sauce this way. So that way you get all your greens right in one big bite here. All right, folks, what would steak and tukbahok be, right, without the Hennessy? All right, come here, folks. You know what I'm talking about, right? Leo folks, Vietnamese folks, hey. Gotta have this, right? If you prefer Johnny Walker, hey, go for it. Or if you prefer something else, go for it as well. But Hennessy and steak and thick bahok is like, you know, rice and uh, eggs. But oh, that's not a good example. It's like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> that's a better example here. So, all right, let's get this in there. It's a nice, healthy pour. And yo, let me fade it, folks. All right, folks, let's see what the ladies are doing here. They're making uh, egg rolls and beefsteaks. So we got uh, Miss Noom here. She's making egg rolls. Rolling, rolling egg rolls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolling wrapping. egg rolls, whatever. wrapping egg rolls, whatever you want to call it. We got uh, Cousin Vinny here. Hello, hello. Oh, hi, Cousin Vinny. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's also hey, making yeah. egg rolls. And... Uh, Got the lovely missus over there making beef stick. Check it out, <laughs> beef sticks. Yeah. yeah. And we got Dumb over there just drinking. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be an epic party tomorrow, folks. Hey, 
thank you for being a part of this channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Stay faded, folks. Peace. See you later. Oh, yeah.